Hi, it's Curtis from Walk Water, and I wanted to just quickly talk about a question I get asked all the time, and that is, what do you do with the reject water, the discharge, the effluent, the concentrate, the waste? It goes by many different names, but uh, when we do desalination, we take uh, the original water, we call this the raw water or feed water, goes into the plant, and through the water treatment process, there's more than just the reverse osmosis membranes or nanofiltration. Anyway, the water splits into two streams, essentially. We have the product water, the clean water, the permeate, and we have the reject stream or the brine effluent. And so the effluent, the waste, will just simply be a concentration of whatever the original water was uh, but it depends on the recovery rate. So we have the water coming in and then it splits and then the percentage of the split is what we call the recovery rate. So it might be 50%, so half goes to concentrate, half goes to clean product water. Uh, and sometimes through some of our designs, we can get recovery rates up to 91, 95% uh, in some instances. Uh, when dealing with seawater, we might keep it at 25% or quite low. It just depends on a number of different things. Uh, but that's, that's more or less what the brine is. It's simply a concentration. Uh, and so what do we do to deal with it? Uh, at, there's still ongoing research in this area, but typically with our agricultural clients, the, the common things we see is, uh, number one, the, the, the most well-known one is to do an evaporation pond. Uh, there is some techniques and design and engineering you can do to create an ideal evaporation pond. And if you want to talk to us about that, please reach out to our team and we're happy to come up with something with you. Uh, so evaporation ponds, number two would be uh, discharge bores. So you actually take that waste, that brine, and put it back down a different bore and then it sort of disperses back into the aquifer. Uh, that's something that again requires a bit more conversation about. So discharging down a reject bore. Uh, the next one would be irrigating salt plants. So some of our clients have actually used the brine to irrigate some uh, salt plants in a salty creek. Uh, depending on how concentrated it is, you can find different uses for it. And I guess the other option that I've seen commonly is uh, people will take the reject stream if it's not too bad and just use it for another purpose. So if the salt is quite low, you can give it to, to older ewes, older sheep on the farm. Uh, but really depends on the concentration. So if you have any questions about the reject or the brine, please reach out to our team. We're happy to consult with you so that you can consider all the different options and there's potentially some you haven't thought of yet. So please give us a call on 08 6118 4178.